stress or anxiety. Contrary to popular belief, there is a difference between stress and anxiety. Stress comes from the pressures we feel in life, as we are pushed by work or any other task that puts undue pressure on our minds and body. Adrenaline is released, extended stay of the hormone causes depression, a rise in the blood pressure and other negative changes and effects. One of these negative effects is anxiety. With anxiety, fear overcomes all emotions accompanied by worry and apprehension, making a person a recluse and a bag full of jitters. Other symptoms are chest pains, dizziness, and shortness of breath and panic attacks. Stress is caused by an existing stress-causing factor or stressor. Anxiety is stress that continues after that stressor is gone. Stress can come from any situation or thought that makes you feel frustrated, angry, nervous, or even anxious. What is stressful to one person is not necessarily stressful to another. Anxiety is a feeling of apprehension or fear and is almost always accompanied by feelings of impending doom. The source of this uneasiness is not always known or recognized, which can add to the distress you feel. Stress is the way our bodies and minds react to something which upsets our normal balance in life, and Example of stress is the response we feel when we are frightened or threatened. During stressful events our adrenal glands release adrenaline, a hormone which activates our body's defense mechanisms causing our hearts to pound, blood pressure to rise, muscles to tense, and the pupils of our eyes to dilate. A principal indication of increased stress is an escalation in your pulse rate, However, a normal pulse rate doesn't necessarily mean you aren't stressed. Constant aches and pains, palpitations, anxiety, chronic fatigue, crying, over or under eating, frequent infections, and a decrease in your sexual desire are signs you may notice, which indicate you may be under stress. Of course, every time we are under stress, we do not react to such an extreme and we are not always under such great duress or fear every time we are confronted with a stressful situation. Some people are more susceptible than others to stress, for some, even ordinary daily decisions seem insurmountable. Deciding what to have for dinner or what to buy at the store, is a seemingly monumental dilemma for them. On the other hand, there are those people, who seem to thrive under stress by becoming highly productive being driven by the force of pressure. Research shows women with children have higher levels of stress-related hormones in their blood than women without children. Does this mean women without children don't experience stress? Absolutely not. It means that women without children may not experience stress as often or to the same degree which women with children do. This means for women with children, it's particularly important to schedule time for yourself, you will be in a better frame of mind to help your children and meet the daily challenge of being a parent. Once your stress level is reduced, anxiety, on the other hand, is a feeling of unease. Everybody experiences it when faced with a stressful situation, for example before an exam or an interview, or during a worrying time such as illness. It is normal to feel anxious when facing something difficult or dangerous and mild anxiety can be a positive and useful experience. However, for many people, anxiety interferes with normal life. Excessive anxiety is often associated with other psychiatric conditions, such as depression. Anxiety is considered abnormal when it is very prolonged or severe, it happens in the absence of a stressful event, or it is interfering with everyday activities such as going to work, 
the physical symptoms of anxiety are caused by the brain sending messages to parts of the body to prepare for the fight or flight response the heart lungs and other parts of the body work faster the brain also releases stress hormones including adrenaline common indicators of excessive anxiety include diarrhea dry mouth rapid heartbeat or palpitations insomnia irritability or anger inability to concentrate fear of being crazy feeling unreal and not in control of your actions which is called depersonalization anxiety can be brought on in many ways obviously the presence of stress in your life can make you have anxious thoughts many people who suffer from anxiety disorders occupy their minds with excessive worry this can be worry about anything from health matters to job problems to world issues certain drugs both recreational and medicinal can also lead to symptoms of anxiety due to either side effects or withdrawal from the drug such drugs include caffeine alcohol nicotine cold remedies and decongestants bronchodilators for asthma tricyclic antidepressants cocaine amphetamines diet pills ADHD medications and thyroid medications a poor diet can also contribute to stress or anxiety for example low levels of vitamin b12 performance anxiety is related to specific situations like taking a test or making a presentation in public post-traumatic stress disorder PTSD is a stress disorder that develops after a traumatic event like war physical or sexual assault or a natural disaster in very rare cases a tumor of the adrenal gland pheochromocytoma may be the cause of anxiety this happens because of an overproduction of hormones responsible for the feelings and symptoms of anxiety while anxiety may seem a bit scary what's even scarier is that excessive anxiety and stress can lead to depression suffering from depression can be a lifelong struggle as I well know but the good news is that all of this is manageable